process. So we just ask that you, that all distractions, that if there are any, push them away. Don't allow them to be a part of this worship service. Because we, we don't take it for granted. Anytime that we have a chance to praise him, I don't take it for granted.
Paul told the church in Ephesus that we wrestle not against flesh and blood, yeah. but against principalities, spiritual wickedness in high places. And with that said, we have been given some spiritual weapons to fight this spiritual war. You don't fight this spiritual weapons with guns and knives, but you fight it with prayer. As a matter of fact, prayer can pull down and bring down strongholds. And so in our worship service, we always incorporate a time of prayer, and in particular, intercessory prayer where we come before God and we bring to Him our concerns, our issues, our questions, our challenges that we may have. And we trust Him for the difference. So as co-laborers, we come in faith, trusting God for what we need. And then we allow Him the time and the space to do what only He can do. And when you get that right, we can find the relief, the answer that we need in our walk. So today is no different. We've been asked to intercede on behalf of Big Mama and as well as Shara, Sharon Hudson. And that's per the request of Robert. And we've been asked to pray for several families here, the Williams family, the Washington family, the William family, and the Holloway family. And Brother Horton is asking that we pray again for his brother Michael Samuel, uh, Brother Meadows, Brother Dora, uh, Justin, as well as Christopher, and pray for season. And then we have been asked to pray for James Sparks. Is that what that is? Been released from the hospice. Been released to hospice. All right, he's under hospice care, James Sparks. And then Ernest Brown, who is recovering from illness. Brother Quest and Brother. And then we've been handed a prayer request for to pray for Tanya Phillips, is that correct? Tanya Phillips? Is that a relative of his sister in law? So I thought she's been diagnosed with breast cancer. And then Deborah Caddy, who has been diagnosed with brain tumor. But we know that God is able. Oh, yes. Yes, sir. And that's why we're going before him this morning, because we know that he is able. And so if you want to come down right now as we intercede on behalf of these requests. <coughs>
why our heart is filled with praise. But if you don't do anything else for us, you've already died. And so, Father, we, we want to be obedient to your word this morning. Your word tells us that we should always give thanks. Regardless of our circumstances, regardless of our situation, we should always find ourselves being able to say thank you because of what you've already done. So, Lord, that's why our heart right now, that, that they're filled even though things are not perfect, even though things are not exactly the way we want them to be, but our hearts are still filled with praise. Things may not have gone the way we wanted them to go last week, but Lord, even right now, our hearts are filled with praise. We don't know what tomorrow is going to be like, but our hearts are filled with praise. May not know how the bill is going to get paid, but our hearts filled with praise. I may even have sickness in my body right now, but our hearts are filled with praise. Lord, we, we, we remember what the psalmist says. I will lift up my eyes unto the hills from which cometh my help. And he says, my help cometh from the Lord made both the heavens and the earth. And David says, Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. Why? Because the Lord is with me. Your rod and your staff can comfort me. And Lord, we know that goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life. And one of these days, we're going to dwell in the house of the Lord forever. So Lord, we, we thank you right now for what you have already done. We, 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 we don't want to come to you and ask for stuff and not say thank you for what you've already done. How you protected us. You watched over us. Put food on our table. Clothes on our back. You gave us a job. But Lord, we want to thank you for what you've already done. Hallelujah. Glory to your name. Lord, thank you. Thank you right now. Now, Father, we want to intercede on behalf of these prayer requests. Lord, we're coming to you because we, because experience has taught us that you are faithful. Even when we found ourselves between a rock and a hard place, you were, you were faithful. Even when we thought we were going down for the last time, you, you were faithful. When, when, when we were sinking and all we could do was just say, Lord, have mercy. And mercy showed up. Lord, that's why we come to you. Because you, you have proven yourself to be faithful. Even when our money couldn't help us. Our education couldn't help us. When our family couldn't help us. But when we called on Jesus, sent your swiftest angel to our rescue. Gave us the peace that we needed. The healing that we needed. You, you provided for us. So Lord, we, we're trusting you again to do what you've already done before. Father, we want to lift up Big Mama. We want to lift up Sharon Husky. We lift up right now the Williams family. The Washington family. The William family, as well as the Holloway family. But we pray for Cece right now. Pray for Justin, Christopher. Pray for William, Cora, Hutton, uh, Horton. Pray for Michael, Stanley. Pray for Brother Meadows. James Sparks has been been released over into hospice. The the medical profession has has said they've done all they can do. They, they, they have reached their limits when it comes to the, the medicine of science and now they have turned James Sparks over to hospice. But Lord, we know that it's not done, nothing is said and done until the Lord has pronounced. We know that you have the final say so. Hospice has no power over you. 
sickness has no power over you. We pray, Lord, that your will be done in James Park's life. Ernest Brown is recovering right now. Thank you for that. Father, we, we have been told to pray for Tanya Phillips, who's been diagnosed with breast cancer. And Father, we, we, we know that you have the power even over cancer. If it be your will, we pray for remission right now. If it be your will, Lord, we pray for a full recovery. But Lord, whatever your will is, pray for peace in Tanya Phillips' life and those who attend to her and then Deborah Caddy who has a tumor lodged in her brain. Father, we ask right now that in the name of Jesus, you would cause that tumor to shrink. We, we pray right now for healing power. And Lord, we want to not forget those who are under the sound of my weak voice right now. Those who have humbly come before you with their heads bowed, with their eyes closed, with, with their hearts and their minds focused and concentrated upon you. They're blotting out all distractions right now. They're, they're centering their thoughts right now on the throne of grace and mercy. Lord, whatever it is that they may be facing, whatever it is they may be up against, whatever challenges they may have, whatever questions that they need to answer to, Lord, right now I ask for clarity. Right now I ask for peace. Right now I ask for deliverance. Right now I'm praying for a breakthrough. Right now, Lord, I'm praying for victory. Right now I'm praying for a stronghold being torn down. Whatever it is right now, Lord, we know that it's not too big for you. It's not too hard for you. So we ask right now that you will manifest yourself one more time in the lives of your people. They're trusting you right now. They realize that money can't do what they need. Their education can't help them right now with what they need. Lord, they, they're trusting you. And Lord, we know that you are able. And we're just praying for your willingness in their lives. Pray, Lord, for the furtherance of this service. Those that's going to announce welcome, those that's going to sing, those that's going to present, and the man of God that's going to preach. We pray for power in all these areas right now. Holy Ghost power. We pray right now for the supernatural power to just come through this service and just minister to all of our hearts. And Lord, when we get to the benediction, we ask, Lord, that when we leave this place, that we can leave better than the way we came. Lord, we, we're praying for transforming power this morning. In our hearts, in our minds, in our bodies. Lord, we want to leave better than the way we came. We, 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 we have been in this, this world all week long. We've been up against it all week long. But Lord, we, we, we need to hear from on high. We, we need to have a divine encounter this morning. Right here at 4536 Phillips Street. Here over in South East Dallas. Lord, we, we, we need a divine encounter today. So that when we go back to our homes, when we go back to our neighborhoods, to our jobs, people can see that we have been in the presence, the very presence of the Lord. That like Moses' face glowed when he came from off from Mount Sinai. Lord, we want folks to know that we have been in the presence of the Lord. Because our walk has changed. Our, our talk has changed. Our, our, our conversations are different. Our, our look is different, Lord. Our, our persona is different. That the glory of God is on us today. That it may sustain us throughout this week. Lord, we thank you for what you've done. We thank you for what you're doing. We thank you for what you're going to do. And we ask it in no other name but the strong and perfect name of Jesus. Let the church say amen. Amen. Amen.
morning. Let's get a quiet little round of applause. Let's get the one who's worthy of being me. This is the time in our service when we would like to acknowledge all visitors. If you are visiting with us this morning, would you please stand, share with us your name and where you're from. Our family. I'd like to share the following analysis with you. October is Domestic Violence Awareness and Breast Cancer Month. The Karen is Sharing Ministry at the North Texas Food Bank will distribute food items Thursday, October, October the 18th from 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. The biggest work day ever will be Saturday, October the 13th from 9 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. at our educational center. All ministry leaders are asked to take part in this planning period. We will use this time to develop the church's calendar for the new year. Ministry leaders, please check your email for documents that need to be completed prior to the meeting. Thanks in advance, Reverend Gary. Please join us again in the noble occasion and purpose. The cause is to acknowledge, appreciate, and commemorate devoted, faithful, and dedicated Christian workers of the mark in the format of Living Legends recognition. Hosted by the Matrix Ministry on October the 14th, 2018, during morning worship, thank you and God bless. The Texas State Missionary Baptist Convention Incorporated Women's Auxiliary 87 Annual Session will be held Monday, October the 15th through Thursday, October the 18th, 2018. The host church, Community Baptist Church, 1125 East Jessamine Street, Fort Worth, Texas, 76104. Sister Linda Turner, President. And then it's all available in the lobby of the sanctuary and the educational center. Amen. On Sunday, October 21st, 2018, we will celebrate Layman's Observance Day at our 9.30 morning service. The theme is men's reasonable service to God and the scriptures Romans 12 and 1. We are requesting that all men wear black suits, white shirts, red ties, and red pocket squares. You can contact Brother Gene Turner if you are in need of these items. We are also asking that each man contribute $25 that will go towards the St. Mark Education Building Fund. We are hoping for full participation by the men of St. Mark. That's from Deacon James Blue. The choir's annual day and musical will be on Sunday, October 21st at 3 o'clock p.m. The yeah. theme is, you ain't yeah. seen nothing yet, and the best is yet yeah. to come. Yeah. And the scriptures are John 14 and 3 and 1 Corinthians 2 and 9. The health ministry will offer flu shots on Sunday, October 21st, after worship service. We are asking that you dress accordingly if you plan to get a shot. The Zelda Young Senior Citizen Old Fashioned Day and Homecoming will be Sunday, October 28, 2018. The guest speaker will be Reverend Donald Timber. The youth department is getting ready for Christmas production. We need youths of all ages to participate in recited speeches or in the skit. Parents, we are starting early and need your assistance. If you want your child or children to participate, please see me or Sister Barry. Thanks in advance, Sister Catherine Wright. The 115th church anniversary has several events planned to finish the celebration. There is a souvenir book that you can support by doing an ad and the 115th church gala, which will be on December 1st at the Double Tree. If you are interested in supporting these events, there will be committee members available after worship service in the back of the church. Thank you, and may everyone have a blessing. Forgive me, church. I just want to say thank you for your thoughts and prayers and those who were here yesterday. And Texas OU, we did well. Uh, I just want to say to the workers, would you please stand? From Barry, come on, Reverend Barry. Uh, just stand up for those who came. Amen. Amen. Also, uh, when church is over, we got some more turkey legs, and we got some more food that we're going to serve. Afterwards, we want all the money. Rain and cheese. So after we get through singing prayer, meet me over there. Those who want a turkey leg, amen. Amen.
that church say amen. amen. Come on, give Ricky a hand. church, Pastor Madison, a good friend of ours, amen, we want to thank you for another uh, preaching privilege, amen. amen, to come and be with the St. Mark Church, to his wife, amen, Sister Madison, and to the ministers, amen, and here, my good friend in the Lord, amen, and to uh, the deacons of this great church, amen, deaconess, amen, and to the saints all over this church and centers at the beginning. Amen. It's just good to be here this morning. Amen. Amen. It's just good to be here. Amen. We thank God, amen, for an opportunity to be able to share, amen, in the word of God upon this morning with this great church. Amen. My, my wife, who I have a number one fan, is with me this morning. Amen. So strong. Amen. Number one fan is with us again this morning. Our children, amen, uh, 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 they came here. My daughter's here from Kansas, out of the military. And they all at home. First thing they're talking about cooking burgers. Who going to church? <laughs> y'all cook all the burgers y'all want, amen. <laughs> and so, amen. I'm just so glad to be here, amen. This church is really, amen. When I first came, amen, old, old brother Ricky, amen, he went sound too well, but old Rick got it now. <laughs> Amen. But can I sing just a little of a song? Amen. It's an old song, a real old, old song. It's really old, amen. Amen. But it brought me where I am right now. There must be a city, Lord, there must be a place. There must be somewhere I can see him face to face. There must be a nation child high up in the sky. Come on, put your hand together. And there must be a heaven somewhere. Esther 8 and 
and began reading at verse 1. Yeah. And when you find this passage of Scripture, let it be done by saying, Amen. Amen. On that day, did the king, Herasius, give the house of Haman, the Jew, enemy unto Esther the queen. And Mordecai came before the king, for Esther had told what he was unto her. And the king took off his ring, which he had taken from Haman, and gave it unto Mordecai. And Esther said, Mordecai, over the house of Haman. I want to preach to you this morning from the subject. I want you to look at your neighbor and say, neighbor. neighbor. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> the preacher is going to preach. My promotion, My promotion is on the way. My promotion is on the way. Can you repeat that to me? My promotion is on the way. Amen. Let me start out today by asking you the question. Have you ever felt like you were being overlooked? in a promotion? Do it sometimes feel like everybody around you is being promoted except you? Have you ever asked yourself, why am I doing all this work? Or why am I trying so hard and seem like nobody is noticing me. Are you still with me here? My brothers and my sisters, always remember, God is noticing me and you when it seems like nobody is looking. He noticed Noah when he was getting ready to send a flood that way. It was God himself that noticed Noah during the time of the flood. Can I get a witness here? For it was Noah that found grace in the eyes of the Lord. And then not only did he notice Noah, but he also noticed Moses. Can I get a witness here? Amen. He noticed him, amen, and he knew where, Mo where no Moses was going to be at the time of the burning bush. Well, Moses saw a bush on fire, and his curiosity, he got closer to the bush, and the bush spoke out and said, put off your shoes for the ground. Somebody help me here. Let you stand on is holy ground. And then God, he even noticed Job before he lost everything. And I start about to tell you, if you're not being noticed, maybe it's because you're not doing nothing. <laughs> to be noticed for. Amen. Because when you start doing something, even Satan himself will notice you. Can I get a witness here? Because, because God said, he talked to Satan and said, have you considered, uh -huh. are y'all with me here, yeah. my servant Job, yeah, yeah. perfect and upright, yeah. one who is sheer God and fear evil, and Satan said, I've noticed him, and you got a head all around. Yeah. I tell you what, God, since you're bragging on it, if you move the head, yeah. I'll yeah. curse thee to thy faith. Oh, uh, my brothers and my sister, uh, 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 God noticed us when nobody else 
notice us. He noticed Job here. Uh, and Job, he lost his children, yeah. all his livestock. Are yeah. uh, y'all yeah. with me? He lost uh, uh, some of his servants. Yeah. He almost lost his wife. Yeah. But God was in the play. Well, in the beginning and in the end. Right, right, right. Are you with me here? Yeah. And you know, if you read the story of Job, God gave Job double yeah. for his yeah. trouble. Yeah. All right. Come on. You just got to wait on the Lord. Come on. Come on. You can't be in no hurry. Yeah. You just got to wait on him. God got a blessing. Yeah. Put your name on it. Yeah. Are you still with me? See, my brothers and my sisters, sometimes our promotion of our blessing is delayed to bring us into patience yeah. like Job. Yeah. Are you with me here? Yeah. Our blessing, our, our promotion is delayed uh, and it'll bring us into wisdom like Solomon. Yeah. Are you still with me here? Yeah. And it'll bring us into knowledge like the Apostle Paul. But it'll bring God the glory. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So sometimes we get in a hurry. Uh -huh. yeah. We want it right then. Yeah. Yeah. And God will say yes. Yeah. And he'll say no. Yeah. And then he'll tell us to just wait a minute. Yeah. Get a minute yeah. and, and we have a hard time waiting yeah. on the Lord. Yeah. Maybe you haven't got joy because God is just saying wait. And if you wait on the Lord, yeah. Oh, they gonna help God. Joseph was sold to the Egyptians uh -huh. by his own blood brothers, uh -huh. who was jealous of him. But Joseph promotion came when he got in Egypt. Uh -huh. Did y'all hear what I said? Uh -huh. I said his blessing came, his promotion came when he got in Egypt. God had a plan for Joseph's life. And brothers and sisters, God got a plan for your life. Get ahead of witness here. Sometimes God allowed bad things to happen in order to bring out the good in us. So he can get a blessing. Can I get a witness here? So he can get the glory out of yes, Amen. Yes, Everything God does, he gets the glory out of yes, Are you still with me here? Yes, Elijah's promotion came when he saw Elijah taken up by a chariot of five horses in a fire. And Elijah went up by a whirlwind into heaven. Yes, and Elijah had told Elijah, if you see me, when I'm going up, y'all yeah. ain't going to help me here. Yeah. Yeah. You'll get your promotion. Yeah. Can I get a witness here? Yeah. You see, all of us have a season. Uh, yeah. And we have to wait on our season. Talk to me here this morning. Yeah. It may not come when you want, yeah. but he's always. Yeah. Come on here, help me this morning. Yeah. Always remember, just because it seemed like. Your promotion is being delayed. Does not mean that you won't get one. Right. Everybody, look like everybody else is getting promotion but you. Right. Look like everybody else is getting blessed yeah. but you. Come on. Right. Come on here, somebody. Yeah. Then and then when 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 we start looking at everybody else, we start saying, I sure wish I win the power. Y'all right here. <laughs> Stay with me, church. You pass by and see them numbers? Oh, oh, I could just Oh, what would I do with all of that? Girl, I'm going to give my church some up. You ain't getting the church some of it now. What do you think you're going to give some of it when you get it? Just say, ouch. <laughs> there might be some people who think that you don't 
deserve a promotion. But what they think and what God think is different. Can we get a witness here? It was never about them, no way. It is always about Him. Can I get a witness here? Sometimes our promotion, it comes after our trials and tribulation. I mean, after you really have been through something, that's when God would give us a promotion. You see, Lazarus' promotion, it came after he died and was carried into Abraham's bosom. Are y'all still with me here? And the rich man, he looked afar off and saw Lazarus. Said, Abraham, let Lazarus come. Stick his finger in some water. And cool my scotch and tongue. Right, and Abraham brought the rich man into remembrance. Well, yeah. get a good And you know, I found out that some folk remember what they want to remember. Yeah. Are you still with me here? And some people can remember all the bad yeah. that you've done yeah. and bypass the good. That you are doing. Are you still with me here? Here's another nugget. Sometime in getting a promotion, we would have to lose some things and some people in order to gain some spiritual things in this life. Are you still with me here? Gideon had to lose some people in order to be blessed. God had told him, you got too many. Yeah. Yeah. Get a, get a witness yeah. And you know what? Sometimes we ignore what God is really telling us. Yeah. Get a, get a witness yeah. God had told him, you got too many. All right. He had a lot of folks following him yeah. for the, all the wrong reasons. Yeah. Are you still with me here? Yeah. And then sometimes the folks following you are more of a hindrance than a blessing. Yeah. And you have to let these people go. Right. Touch a nigga and say, let them go. Yeah. Stop trying to hang on to some folks. Stop trying to hang on to some things. You got to just let it go. I, I found out folks that wasn't really my friend, I had to let them go. I found out everybody was patting on my back didn't mean no good, and I had to let them go. I found out
ever told about how God can take a new back and promote them to become somebody. Are you still with me? The book of Esther is about courage and encourage. It is about trusting in God and helping yourself and those who can't help themselves. It is about love that we have for God and for God's people. It is about loving your neighbor. Are you still with me here? We find here in chapter 1 that the king was celebrating a feast with family and friends. The Bible teaches us that during the time of celebration that the queen was also having a feast with the women in the royal house of the king. Every woman ought to treat your man like a king. And the brother said, Y'all said something a little weak on that one. I said, every woman ought to treat your man like a king. And the men said, All right then. But on the other hand, every man ought to treat his woman like a queen. And all the women said, For each other. Can I get a witness here? And respect ought not just come from your mouth, but it ought to be action in your word. I tell so strong all the time, I'm like Jesus, if you love me, then keep my commands. She said, hold on, strong, that work two ways. Can I get a witness here? Now, after everybody had been drinking wine, uh -oh. including the king, uh -huh. and he was feeling pretty good, yeah. half drunk. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Somebody knows something about that. You ain't got to say, man, you don't stay. They was half drunk. Uh -huh. The king decided to send for the queen to come before him while he was celebrating. You read it. It's in chapter 1. Yeah. He was celebrating before his friends to show off her beauty. Yeah. Can I get a witness here? Yeah. You know how men do. Come on, somebody. When you think you got a good looking wife, you want to show her off. And you're like, man, yeah, that's, that's, that's her. That's Sister Strong. Yeah, that's her. Come on here, somebody. You ain't got to guess. Where your wife at? Oh, there, there she is. Yeah. I keep her looking young. And he called for the queen. But queen tried to be independent woman, mm -hmm. not realizing that everything that she had was because of the king. Yeah. Yeah. And when he called for his wife, she decided, I'm not coming. Are y'all still with me? Yeah. So when the king being went to get her, she refused to come. She said no to the king. Well. And she said it with an attitude. <laughs> you know how it is when they get attitudes? <laughs> Are y'all still with me here? Yeah. Stay with me, ladies. Stay with me here. She said it with an attitude. 
They said, the king wants you. And she said, no. Show it out in front of other women. Are you still with me here? Can I get a witness? This made the king mad. The Bible said that he was very wroth and very angry. His anger burned in him. He, he was so displeased. He was embarrassed by his wife. Are you still with me here? Oh, you know it don't take much to embarrass us. You talking about, man, I run stuff in my house. Gotta get a witness here. You really need to tell what you really run. Bathroom <laughs> clean, dishwasher. Are y'all still with me here? <laughs> then, 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 he said to his wise men, what shall we do with the queen? Her disobedience have shamed me. Her attitude stink. She has rejected me. And I am the king. Then one of his princes, by the name of Memory King, answered and said that Queen the Shaitai have not just done wrong to the king, but also to all the princes and all the providence of Persia and me. Throughout the region. Are you with me? Yeah. In other words, king, all the men will suffer behind this if she's not put in her proper place. Are you still with me here? Bible said, talk to us. It said, for this deed shall be broadcast. You read chapter 1. Uh -huh. For this deed shall be broadcast aboard unto all men and women yeah. that the queen refused to obey her king. Uh -huh. There shall arise uh -huh. too much uh -huh. contempt and wrath. Uh -huh. In other words, king, you need to handle her uh -huh. before she Handle you. Y'all ain't going to help me help you. Stop being henpicked. Come on. Come on. Don't be afraid yeah. of your wife. Come on. Are y'all still with me here? Did y'all hear what I said? If you said it one time, you ought to be able to say it again. Can I get a witness here? Somebody might say ain't nothing wrong with being hit picked. That's if you get picked by. You know, Ahab was hit picked. And he couldn't do nothing with Jezebel. Can I get a witness here? But I heard Elijah say the same dogs. Yeah. Now they go help me here. That's another sermon. Now, if it pleased the king, the princess talked to him. If it please the king, mm -hmm. let there go out a raw commandment mm -hmm. from you and divorce sent the queen away forever. And by doing this, all the wives will respect their husband uh -huh. and give honor to great and small. You read the text. Uh -huh. Now the Bible teaches us that after the king is in search of a new wife. He wanted a fair looking young. Let the church say young. Virgin for his wife. The Bible also teaches us that Mordecai had his uncle's daughter for his daughter to raise after her mother and father was dead. Esther was beautiful. Yeah. Are y'all with me? Yeah. And fair looking. Yeah. So while I was searching for a wife for the king, uh, yeah. Esther was also brought uh, to the king's house uh, yeah. as a candidate to be the king's wife. Yeah. Yeah. You read it when you get home. Yeah. The Bible teaches us in chapter 2, yeah. we find that the king loved Esther. Yeah. 
above all the women. Yeah. And she obtained grace and favor uh, in his sight. Yeah. More than all the virgins. Uh -huh. So the king set the royal crown upon her head. Uh -huh. And it, it teaches us that he made Esther uh -huh. the queen. Yeah. Are y'all sitting with me here? Uh -huh. After this took place, it was Mordecai uh -huh. that told Esther not to reveal her secret yet. That she was a Jew. Are you still with me here? The Bible teaches us that while Mordecai sat at the king gate, he heard two of the king's chamberlain, which was kept at the door, was plotting to kill the king. That's right. That was talking behind the king's back. In other words, they was backstabbed. Yeah. And you know we got some backstabbers. Y'all yeah. ain't gonna help me. Yeah. So Mordecai told Queen Esther, and she told the king when it was investigated and it was found true, yeah. the king ordered both men to be hanged on a tree. Yeah. And Mordecai was given the credit yeah. for this. Sometimes you have to kill the problem uh -huh. before the problem kills you. Yeah. Are you still with me here? Yeah. Now the king had promoted a man by the name of Haman. Yeah. Haman's seat was above all the princes yeah. that was with him. Yeah. And all the king's servants uh -huh. bowed to Haman. Except Mordecai. Yeah. Are you still with me here? Yeah. Mordecai refused yeah. to bow down to a man. Yeah. Come on, somebody. Come on now. The Bible teaches us that Haman was wrong uh -huh. and he was mad uh -huh. because he showed him no respect yeah. or honor. Yeah. Yeah. So Haman plotted. To have Mordecai yeah. and all the Jews yeah. king. Yeah. So the king took off his ring uh -huh. and gave it to Haman, uh -huh. who plotted against the Jew uh -huh. and said he would put money in the treasure. Yeah. So Haman sent a letter out. Are y'all with me? Yeah. To kill all the Jews. Yeah. When Mordecai perceived all that was done. He rent his clothes and put sackcloth in the ashes Come on now. and went out of the city and cried. Am I preaching that up no time? And cried a bitter cry for his people. Mordecai finally told Esther what Haman was trying to do. So she was convinced to go and see the king. She said to the people, fast with me three days because I'm going to see the king. I hear Esther saying, if I perish, uh -huh. Uh -huh. I perish. Uh -huh. But I'm going to see the king. Uh -huh. So she prepared a banquet uh -huh. and invited the king and Haman to the banquet. Uh -huh. Are you still with me here? Uh -huh. And when the king heard us and how Haman had plotted against her, and her people, he ordered Haman to be hanged from his own gallop, who he had made it for Mordecai. Oh, be careful, Lord. Be careful. I said, be careful. Careful 
how we set traps for others. Because you could be setting a trap for yourself. I heard somebody said, if you dig one ditch, you better dig two. Because uh, the ditch you digging, it could be for you. Be extremely careful because your plan could backfire on you. Are you with me? Esther and Mordecai knew that God was in the plan. Did y'all hear what I said? And they knew that God, uh, he would supply uh, uh, their every need. Uh, can I get a witness? Uh, God uh, has power. Uh, I said power. Power to elevate me and you uh, in the midst uh, of our enemies. Uh, did you hear me? Uh, he promoted David uh, from being a shepherd boy uh, to become the king. Uh, can I get a witness? Uh, he promoted the Hebrew boys uh, in the fire furnace. Uh, he will deliver uh, right on time. Uh, did y'all hear me? Uh, he promoted Daniel uh, when he was in the lion den. Uh, all night long, uh, he closed the lion mouth. Uh, did y'all hear what I said? Uh, he promoted Moses uh, when he was down there uh, in Egypt land. Uh, but God had told Moses uh, to go tell Pharaoh uh, that I said, let my people go. Did y'all hear me? God can. I said he can use anybody. No one of the old folks son. Anyway, you use me, Lord. I will be satisfied. But oh, brothers and sisters, sometimes God has to demote some people in order to promote some people. Did you hear what I said? He demoted Saul in order to promote David. He demoted Jezebel and Ahab in order to promote Elijah. He demoted Haman in order to promote Esther and Mordecai. Can I get a witness? God, I said God, Elohim, El Shaddai, God, Jehovah Jairus, God, my bridge over troubling water, God, my lily of my valley, God, my praise in morning star, God, my way out of no way, God, my everything, God, he devoted Satan in order to promote Jesus. Can I get a witness? I heard, I heard when Lucifer said, I'm going to exalt my, my kingdom above God. You don't have to pray if I'm too high. Lord, bring me down. God will. God will. God will, uh, God will, uh, he'll bring you down, uh, while he was demoting, uh, he demoted Satan, uh, in order uh, to promote Jesus, uh, can I get a witness, uh, the Bible said, uh, that Jesus, uh, he died, uh, didn't he die young, uh, he stayed in the grave, uh, for three days, uh, and three nights, uh, can I get a witness, uh, but, uh, Sunday morning, I saw Jesus when he got up out of the grave, and the Father had promoted him 
Jesus said, as often as we do this, do you then remember us from me. You died upon the cross. For your sins and mine. He shed his blood. He prayed a price that none of us could pay. He paid the debt.
Uh, the turkey legs over in the other building, there will be some turkey legs and a few other food items for sale for those who would like to go and participate as soon as we get a benediction, yes. And the church anniversary, add four tickets. There will be somebody in the back. The church say amen.